Hello, I'm Christina Unerat, Technical Marketing Engineer for Mauser Electronics. In this video, we will demonstrate how to import an existing Atmos Studio 7 solution into Microchip's MPLAB X IDE. This will include the necessary tools and packs required for you to successfully build your project, as well as a few examples. We will be using MPLAB X version 5.25. If you're wanting to create a new project for an Atmel device using MPLAB X IDE, you can simply start a new standalone project, select the appropriate device, and choose either the AVR or compatible XE toolchain. Since this video is covering the conversion from Atmel Studio to MPLAB, we will assume that a version of Atmel Studio is already installed. This will make the configuration of MPLAB easier since the required toolchain and packs have been detected during the installation of MPLAB X IDE. If, for some reason, this is not the case, here are a few steps you need to take in order to keep things running smoothly. First, we will need to verify we have the correct toolchain installed. Open MPLAB X and select Tools, then Options. Under Embedded, select Build Tools. Here, you should see all the installed toolchains, such as any of the XE tools, ARM, or AVR. Let's walk through how to download and add toolchains to MPLAB if they happen to be missing. Navigate to the website shown. All links will also be in the video description. Scroll down the page until you find the download section. Select the appropriate toolchain version for your operating system and click on the file to download. Locate the file in your download folder and extract the file. I would suggest extracting the toolchain into MPLAB X IDE directory, usually located in the file path shown. Now that we have the toolchain installed, we can look at the packs which will be required. These can be viewed and installed from inside MPLAB by selecting Tools, then Packs. If you're unsure which packs you may need, during the import process, MPLAB will let you know which pack or packs are required. You can also download and install the packs from this link, then install them using the Install from Local Source button on the Packs page. For our first example, we will be using the code created for Microchip Horticulture Sensor Project, linked below, which uses an 8-bit AVR device. Here, you can see the open solution at Mel Studio, which actually contains two projects. The first project, Arduino Core, is identified in properties as a static library, whereas the second project, Microchip Horticulture Firmware is identified as an executable. This will be an important distinction once we begin importing the project into MPLAB. To import projects into MPLAB, you'll need to follow these steps. Click File, then New Project. Under Projects, select Import Atmel Studio Project, then click Next. Browse to the location of your project Once found, click Next. You will see that the family and device have already been identified, so you can go ahead and click Next. Select the appropriate tool or simulator and click Next. Select the appropriate toolchain, which in this case will be the AVR toolchain. You may see more than one version or duplicates such as displayed in our demonstration. Either will work. Next, you will need to select the device support or packs as we mentioned earlier. If the pack is already installed, this field will be populated as ours is and you'll just need to click Next. If it is not, you'll need to navigate back to the packs page and download the appropriate one. Update the name if you choose or if required and hit Next. Click Finish. It is important to note that you can only import projects, not the solution. Since this example solution has two projects, you will need to locate and import them both. Following the steps outlined earlier, locate the second project and import into MP Labs. Once the projects are imported, we will build each one. 
right click the project name and select clean and build doing this for each. As you can see, the Arduino Core library builds without any issues. However, the horticulture executable fails immediately as it is unable to find the necessary library files. Under executable projects, right click the library folder and select add library project. Select relative in the store path as on the right side, then browse to the location of the library file. Highlight the file and click Add. Expand the library folder and you should now see the project. Right click the project name and select Clean and Build. We have successfully imported each project from the original Atmel Studio solution and linked the library to the executable. Our second example will be easier than the first, but the project is based on an ARM Cortex M0 Plus and will be slightly different. The code for this example comes from our Watchdog project, which can be found at this link. Here we have the solution opened in Atmel Studio where this contains only one project with all the dependencies and libraries stored within. Because of this, we will only need to import one project into MPLAB. To do this, you'll need to follow the same steps as before. Click File, then New Project. Under Projects, select Import Atmel Studio Project and click Next. Browse to the location of your project. Once found, click Next. You will see that the family and device have already been identified, so you can go ahead and click Next. Select the appropriate tool or simulator and click Next. Select the appropriate toolchain for this project will be ARM instead of AVR. You'll notice that this project has two device support packs that are required. Like before, if the packs are already installed, the fields will be populated. Otherwise, you'll need to navigate back to the packs page in order to download and install. Once the packs are selected, click Next. Update the name if you choose, or if required, and hit Next. Click Finish. Build the project. Microchip Technologies MPLAB X IDE is an expandable, highly configurable software program that incorporates powerful tools to enable designers to discover, configure, develop, debug, and qualify embedded designs for most of Microchip's microcontrollers and digital signal controllers. MPLAB X works seamlessly with MPLAB development ecosystem of software and tools, many of which are completely free. All the links provided in this video will be linked below for your convenience.